This is Renata from Scrap Innovations, and here I just wanted to share with you a baby mini album that I did for one of my coworker and friends, Tammy. Um, she's having her first baby. It's a boy. So um, I had seen this fabulous uh, mini that Terry from Terry Berry Creations did using the Sizzix um, Extra Large Big Onesie Card Die. It's a tongue twister. So I fell in love with her album and thought that I would do this would be perfect for a little gift for Tammy. And so um, I was able to cut the shapes from um, my friend Sheila, who has everything scrap related, had the die. Thank you, Sheila, for letting me come over and use your um, tools. Um, and so this is what I came up with. Okay, so I'm just going to take you through really quick. Um, basically, basically um, the front page, it says, uh, Welcome Baby. And uh, what I did was... Welcome Baby stamp. I stamped it with the Versamark ink and embossed it in um, lavender zinc powder. I think it's like a la lavender matte. Um, Recollections flower that I inked a little bit with uh, vintage photo ink from Tim Holtz um, and just some pearl bling. The next page, and I'm going to flip it. Um, basically, this paper collection, I think it's by either DCWV or Pan Company. It's the um, nursery it's the nursery rhymes or nursery back the boy version and so i chose some um, select papers from there um on this page very simple it's a vellum um quote i had a little that says itsy bitsy fingers wiggly little toes teeny tiny tummy baby button nose and i had a little mint a tiny foot punch that i punched out these feet um inked it with Versamark ink and um, embossed with clear embossing powder to make it little shiny. She put a photo here. The next page um, is a sentiment page. Um, it had a lot of cute little baby sentiments. So what I did is I had this vellum um, quote paper and um, it says so many reasons to love you. And so with uh, permanent marker, she could write in some you know reasons why they love their new little baby boy and just some other recollections, mini roses that I also inked um, a vintage photo. I'm gonna flip it again. Another simple page, I just love the stripes. Looks like PJs, doesn't it? Um, so simple match, you can put another photo here. I had one of the cuddle bug um, embossing folder die combos that was um, baby sentiments. And I punched out this uh, sentiment. Um, it says tiny blessings. I also inked it again with Versamark and clear embossing powder so it was a little um, puffy this page I absolutely love it's so cute so I had I don't know the brand um, some embellishments bathroom um, bath time embellishments and it was a perfect size for this um, it's a little pop dotted um, acetate um, phrase it says tub time the little tub bubbles and the frog wind up frog was too cute so I had to put him on there and she could put a picture of the baby um, getting a bath Next one, another simple page. I just love the stripes on the paper. Um, just a photo mat says laugh and play. And this is from Heidi. Um, I think it's Heidi Grace. I believe it's Heidi Grace or Heidi Swap. I'm pretty sure it's Heidi Grace though. Um, and so they could just put a picture of the baby laughing or playing. This page is so cute. I love it. So the paper had um, clotheslines of onesies and towels and you know blankets hanging and so I had the idea I also had a um, a baby vellum quote that said Sims and put it on here but I had in my stash a ton of these little um, mini clothespins and since clothespin type theme on the paper I thought it'd be really cute to suspend it from that and kind of pop it and then I added some buttons next page and this paper was so cute. It was um, one of the papers had little and big chicks on it, like mama chicks and little baby chicks. And so I had a bling phrase that said mommy and me. And so I thought it would be a good idea to, you know, add that there. And Tammy could put a picture of her and the baby. Almost to the end. Um, this page, cute little orange. I just did something very simple. Um, she could put a photo of the baby. It's, and then this is a, a basic gray puffy stickers it says beautiful smile and then this idea um, was inspired by Laura from following the paper trail um, the little interaction Laura from following the paper trail, from paper finale, 
on. Um, this was another vellum quote that said nap time, hush little baby, sweet dreams. And what I did is I just backed vellum quotes with um, cardstock and that makes it a little bit more sturdy and then you can pop it and um, you know stick things behind it or use it as a now a chipboard embellishment. And on this it's just um, pop dotted little recollections rose again and then from Laura from following the paper trail from her um, special delivery mini album I did the little tag feature um, I cut this bear from the doodle charms uh, cricket cartridge and um, basically I um, stickled his stomach and glossy accent his eyes and nose to make it glossy and then on the back I um, stamped uh, journaling lines and I also had this little basic great itsy bitsy um, baby uh, stamps and this is a little pacifier so I stamped it with Versamark and embossed it gold and so that just slides back here she could put a photo here of the baby sleeping write some sentiments and then put that back in here like that so cute okay so we're almost at the end this last page is like my absolute favorite again this is inspired by Laura from following the paper trail it's one of the techniques she did on her um, baby album and also again the technique from Kathy from paper phenomenon um, this sentiment was so cute it says when you were born you cried and the world rejoiced so I had that first I had it like just like that I figured she put a photo of the baby crying or something um, but then I was, it looks kind of plain so then I did this from Laura and one of the things I did here, uh, a technique from Kathy, is I back this, I just put a bead of um, hot glue gun, and that makes it popped a little, but it also allows you to put tags or whatever behind it, and it won't stick like it would with um, adhesive, like um, adhesive runners. So I'm just going to take you through the little thing. This is a baby in a bunting, and I just took Laura's um, tutorial and miniaturized it extremely, made a little bunting. Um, hot glued the little bow on with uh, its uh, twine and it just matched the paper perfectly and so basically the baby comes out it's like a little baby in a bunting and I did one with the baby crying um, I had to cut the circles of my Cricut and then I hand drew everything else the swirl for the hair is from the um, McCall's punch it's flowers and petals or something like that um, and then I just adhered it to a little piece of card Tammy could do some journaling. She could put a little wallet size photo on it. Um, and then it slides right back in here. And then you just slide it. Let's see. Let me get my nail on it. <laughs> ah. You just kind of lift this up and. Okay, so I'm having a moment. Just lift it up a little. It's kind of. Tight. I guess I should have put a bigger bead of uh, hot glue, but uh, didn't want it to be too loose. So you just slide it back in there like that, and there you have it. And uh, finally, the last page, I had another sentiment that said, um, welcome to the mommy club. So I kind of just made a mat, uh, again, Versa marked it and um, embossed it with gold embossing powder. And then I had a handmade um, stamp, so I did that, and then I just wrote in my information and added fibers, a whole bunch of random fibers to the top. And there you have it. Cute little welcome baby, baby mini album. I completely love it. I hope um, Tammy loves it too. And um, thank you, Terry Berry, Laura, and Kathy for all your inspiration. Bye.